Hey, welcome to the Man Cave. On today's special edition, we're going to be looking at how to get the Dolphin emulator working with your iMac uh, so you can play Wii and GameCube games and enjoy all of that great stuff. And I got it working, and I'm going to show you how. And if you're running into any trouble, I think I figured a lot of this out so you don't have to. And I looked, I scoured the internet for information on how to get it working with a Mac. This is it. So I guess I had to make it. So you're going to play some Wii games, some shooter games, and you're going to play some GameCube games. And yeah, I own a lot of this stuff. So let's get to it. All you're going to need is a, in this case, I've used a PS4 DualShock controller. You can use it, an old GameCube controller with an adapter. I don't have that. And you need the Mayflash Dolphin Bar. You might not need it, but I bought it. I reviewed it last year. You'll see in one of my videos uh, for the Retro Pie, which I was not impressed. Very impressed with it, uh, working with the Wii on this. It's amazing, you're gonna see. You're gonna play some House of the Dead and enjoy yourself. Take a moment to like, subscribe, join the comments, turn your notifications on for more content. And remember, if you're not fiddling around with retro gaming stuff, trying to get it to work and wasting all your time doing that and you can't play, what are you doing? So the first thing you want to do is get your fat ass over to dolphin-emu.org. You're going to take this download link for Windows, Mac, and Linux. You're going to skip the beta version. You're going to go down to development versions, and you can grab the latest one. These update every few hours, okay? Um, so I end up grabbing that one, the one triple four seven, and I grab this Intel one. You might have to do a little bit of research on that. I don't have a current M1 Mac, so mine is Intel that I purchased in 2020. I'm downloading that. I'm not going to install it. And you'll see the development versions require 64-bit Visual C++. Don't bother with that. Didn't need to do that at all. So, so that's what it looks like. That's the box. And then here is the bar itself. And it has the mode button on top and it has the sync button. So what you're going to be doing is for um, to use this with your Mac, your iMac. I'm assuming your MacBook, MacBook as well. Um, you want it on mode four, which is emulation mode. So you've got to switch it to mode four. You just press that button four times and that's going to go over to mode four. Then you're going to have to sync this. So let's get this Wiimote hooked up to this iMac. You are not going to worry about Bluetooth. Don't worry about it. That's what I was getting hung up on. So I've put the, um, the Mayflash Dolphin Bar up on top here. We can see that the, the one light is on. That is mode four. Okay, so that's what you want. You, I showed you before, press the mode. Now, we are going, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open Dolphin. Now this is Dolphin 5.0, which I use for GameCube. We're not using that. We're using the Dolphin um, beta version that I have down here. And now we've got our games. Our games here are GameCube and you can see some Wii games there. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going into controllers. Down here you can see Wii Remote 1, real Wii Remote. Okay, and you can see continuous scanning. I'm going to press this button on top. This is the sync button. I'm gonna get that going. I'm gonna press those. Now I'm gonna turn this off and it's going to pop up with this, cancel it. That's just added for this. We're going to refresh, continuous scan. And did you hear that? Okay, now we're connected. That thing is going to be solid as a rock in just a second. We're going to back out of here. We're going to go down to House of the Dead. Where are you, housey? All right, and let's start her up. Now it's solid. Now we got our two lights. Now we're just waiting for this baby to load up. While we're waiting, let's insert this into its proper chamber. We're good to go. And let's see this thing in use. On the Wiimote. We're meeting G over there. Oh my God, I can't handle that acting. Okay. I'm backing up a bit. You gotta be a little further away. If you saw my review for this on the Retro Pie, it is night and day. This is much, much better, much more accurate.
Okay, so we're going to get this PS4 DualShock um, connected. So to get it connected, we're going to hold down the share and the PS button. Something else is popping up. Why? What is that? Some sort of speaker from somewhere in the depths of the house. So hang on, we're not gonna connect that. Let's just give it a second. And there she is. Dual shock, so it's connected. All right, so now it's going and it's connected. So now for the GameCube games, I use Dolphin 5.0, and it just seems to be because of the ROMs I downloaded. For some reason, um, they're giving me an error in the um, in the beta version. So whatever. All right, so here's our Dolphin. It's opening that up. There we go. Now I'm going to show you a little weird thing that happens, and this is the 5.0 stable version. You might run into this problem, and I found a little fix for it in case you're having a problem with display, okay? Um, one of the games I'm absolutely addicted to, and I'll get that in a minute, is NHL Hits Pro. I love it. But let's go to controllers, okay, because this is important. So we're into controllers. And right now it says standard controller. You've got to change that. So we're going to go to configure, okay? Now you can see down here, if I move the analog sticks, nothing is happening. Okay, so we're gonna go and press refresh. Now let's open this up. You can see a lot of stuff down here, but you go down and you're gonna see DualShock 4. Okay, click that. Now you're gonna have to change that. I had to change it after. Now we got something, okay? But then what you're gonna do is you have to set up your control stick, your C stick, because remember, this is a GameCube controller you're setting up, right? So control stick, C stick, your triggers and your D-pad. Okay, now I've set these before so they were saved, okay? But what you're gonna do is just, you're gonna press this, okay? Press it like that, and then hold up. And that's all you have to do, just hold it. Okay, down, press down, done. Left, press left. Try to make sure that you're pressing left. Okay, and right, press right. And we got it. Modifier, I didn't change that. Then you go to your C stick and you do the exact same thing, okay? Um, as well as these are your buttons here, okay? So the way I did it is I did A, B, X, and Y, okay? And Z I did as my R, uh, Z I did as my R2 trigger. So let me just show you that again. If I was off camera, I'm not sure. Um, so my A button, it says here right now, is button number two. Well, let's click that and let's hold this. Okay, and it is button number two. And then you would do that all the way through. So the Z button is this guy. I'm holding this down. There are two button. Looks like it's done, done it. Okay, and you do the same for your D-pad. I mean, that's easy. Up, down, left, and right. That couldn't be easier to go ahead and do that. Your trigger buttons are here. These are the buttons that you want for your triggers. So then it's all set up. This is working. You can see those things moving. Okay. Now, the next time you come back to this, for some reason, it didn't work with DualShock. I had to go and just find input slash zero slash wireless controller, and then it worked. So we'll check it out, let's see. Okay, so everything's good, looking good. Even if it says standard controller, that's what you want. Okay, so let me show you that game. NHL hits 2003. My God, I love this game. So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on that and we're gonna press play, but then it's not gonna work. You're not going to see anything. You might hear it. And you're like, why isn't it working? I'll show you what I did to make it work. Press play. It's not working. Go to graphics. Boom. There she is. Okay. Click on that. And that's what solved it for me. There might be other ways to solve it. I don't care. I can do that. That's not a big deal. So let's check this NHL hits out. In your face. Why not even play Spidey while you're at it? So I hope this helped you guys with the Dolphin uh, emulator on your uh, Macs and MacBook Pros and iMacs and etc. Depending on the age of your system, you're gonna, you know, your mileage may vary in terms of quality. Um, so I'm, I'm just crossing my fingers for you that you got it work. So remember, on your way out, please take a moment to like, subscribe, comment down below. 
if I can help you, I certainly will. And remember, if you're not retro gaming, what are you doing? I'll see you next time.